Hey YouTube, it's Nero from uh, TheFinalString.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the group exploit on vBulletin version 4.0 through 4.1.4. Okay, first off, I have to kind of rush this. I'm sorry, but last time I did it and it was over 10 minutes and I don't want a two-part video that kind of like loses people, you know, they don't care if it's a two-part. Like they just, ah, oh, it's not worth it, I'll find another tutorial. Okay, so I need to speed through this. Uh, what you're gonna ha or first off, the final string nor any member of the staff is responsible for what you do with this content we provide strictly educational purposes only. I don't get in trouble if you do something stupid with this. Um, a couple things you're gonna need is go on Firefox and go to Google.com. You have to use Firefox, I think. Uh, in Google, go ahead and search live HTTP headers. I'll provide a link in the description, or you could just Google it. I don't care. Okay, so go to um, the first link that you see, and it should say like live HTTP headers. Go ahead, download that, and it'll make your um, browser restart or Firefox restart. So now you need to find a V Bulletin 4.0 through 4.1.4. I made a V Bulletin, and it's version 4.1.2. A um, couple things that you need to check before moving on is. Make sure the admin CP is in the right place. Okay, it is. And then you need to check group.php. Some websites make you register. Go ahead and register, but um, use a 10 minute mail.com account or email to register with. I'll have a little mini tutorial down in the description on how to register correctly. Okay, so um, there should be groups made already. But if there's not, just go ahead and make a group, call it whatever you want, and um, save that. Okay, so since there's already a group made, go to it. Now, as you can see, this is group ID number one. That is good. If it's not group ID number one, go ahead and delete it. Make it group ID number one. Hit enter. Or if it doesn't show what group ID number it is up there, you could right-click, view source, and it should tell you right there. It should say like group ID equals one. If it doesn't tell you right there, which I ran into a couple times on the forum or on different forums, just go ahead and search group ID equals and then hit enter. Um, there's like a whole bunch of um, different places like saying group ID, group ID equals equals. If it's not group ID one, just go ahead and go back to groups and find a different group that is group ID number one. By the way, if you hear snoring, that is my dog laying on my bed snoring. I thought that was pretty funny. So now since we have the group name for group ID number one, which is called hack, I made this obviously. So go to advanced search, select groups, keywords, make it hack. Now go up to Firefox and under tools, click live HTTP headers. Uh, if it has a human verification in order to search, just go ahead and find a different form because it screws with you the entire time and you can't ever do it. They passed it pretty much. So go ahead and click search now. Now scroll all the way up to the top on live HTTP headers and find like the forum name and then slash search.php equals do process whatever. Okay, scroll down a little bit and under content link, content length there's type uh, percent 5b percent 5d click that and hit replay now there's two different lines of code that I've provided when I can find it two different lines of code that I've provided um, one which I'll have this all in the description organized for you. The first one is for the if the form has 99 users or more. Sometimes whenever you have 98 users on the form and you try that code, it just says match is not found, something stupid like that. This form only has one or two members, so I'm going to use the second line of code. That only gives you the hash for the first member. So go ahead and since you click replay on type, uh, type percent 5b percent 5d it pops up with this little window and in the text box after like the last equal sign it says search thread id equals go ahead and paste your code and click replay now this should uh, refresh your browser with the hashtag 
or not the hashtag, with the hash of the admin, or the first user. The first user is always the admin, by the way, or it should be. So since you have the hash and the salt and the email and the username, you could go ahead and crack that hash. Uh, I will have a second video showing you how to crack hashes using the same hash that I got from this website. So there you go. That's how you um, hack a V Bolton 4.0 through 4.1.4. Once again, I'm not responsible for anything you do with the content that we provide. Sorry if I rushed through this. If you have any questions, just go on. Oh, sorry. If you have any questions, just go on the finalstring.com. That is T H E F I N A L S T R I N G. Yeah. Dot <laughs> com. <laughs> sorry, I was like thinking of other things and that just got mixed up. Alright, um, see you guys later.